what's up y'all we back at it with another all signs reading this is their current feelings i'm going in order from aries to pisces listen out for your sun moon venus rising and north node all right take what resonates with you and leave the rest for somebody else out there that's watching don't force it if it's not your story okay don't force it if it's not your message all right, Aries, let's see what this person's current feelings is towards you. What is it? What is this person's current feelings towards my Aries? What is their current feelings towards Aries? Two more shuffle spare. What is this person's current feelings towards my Aries? What is this person's current feelings towards Aries? Let's see, Aries. Oh, I can't get my cards on <laughs> Hey, it kind of feelings towards Aries. Well, Aries, you know what? This person feels like the cycle's over. They feel like the cycle is completed here with the world card. Um, yeah, yeah. They feel like that you, they, for some of you, somebody here feels like they were supposed to have a new beginning with you or they thought it was a possibility for you two to have a new beginning. But they feel like it's over. Death to the situation. We have a death card and a war card. Somebody here feels like something is never coming back. It's not meant to come back. Somebody here feels like, yeah, it's over. Your person could be feeling stuck as well. Aries, the chariot in the reverse. Some of you were dealing with someone that was a player with the king of wands in the reverse. Okay, some of you could have been dealing with a fellow fire sign, a Pisces, or a Cancer, a Scorpio. But whoever you was dealing with, this person feels like there's no coming back. You know, they're worried, okay? They're worried. They also feel like you're still dealing with somebody else, truth be told, okay? Or this person is actually still dealing with somebody else, and they just, they wish that they could come towards you. They under the impression that this cycle is completely closed out, no coming back. They feel like a part of them sabotaged the connection for being a player, they are set in their ways too this is somebody that's set in their ways okay so they're still in that player player energy and this person is being forced to keep their distance from you this person betrayed you this person was very cruel very mean to you this person sees that you're doing better without them they also feel like you released them and they're mad about that but this this person could have even tried to like fight and cause some unhappiness cause some ending to your celebrations your success your peace after you close the cycle out with them but they were unsuccessful they now feel uh, they now feel like they need to apologize to you or this person now feels bad for being in this energy but this is what's going on this is how they're feeling and um whoever this is they're still currently dealing with someone else right now okay they never stopped dealing with someone else even if they was in a relationship and broke up with somebody, they was dealing with somebody else that wasn't that person as well. They never stopped dealing with somebody. This is somebody that's always dealing with somebody. Multiple people at a time, even. All right. Taurus. How is this person currently feeling towards my Taurus? What is this person's current feelings towards Taurus? Spare, give me three more shuffles. What is this person's current feelings towards Taurus? What is this person's current feelings towards my Taurus? Last shuffle, please, for Taurus. What is this person's current feelings towards Taurus? All right, Taurus, let's see. Oh, well, you know what? <laughs> Taurus, for many of you, this person feels like you deserve better. They do. They feel like you have a big heart. This person feels like you're very loving, and they feel like you deserve better. Yeah, that's the truth, Ace of Swords. They also feel like things are working out for you and going in your favor because you're a good person. This is somebody that feels like you're a good person. They feel like they put you in a third party. For some of you, you was dealing with somebody that was actually married. I know that's not going to resonate with all of y'all, but for some of you, this person was actually married. Okay? This person was in a codependent situation. They could have also had an unhealthy attachment to somebody that they once were married to. Somebody that they once were in a connection with. <clears throat> they could have had a codependent situation 
with somebody that they have children with as well. But Taurus, this person feel like you deserve way better than them. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Cancer, a Leo, another Taurus, a Virgo Capricorn. Whoever you was dealing with, I'm telling you, this person just feels like you deserve way better. This person actually feels like you deserve way better than them. Yeah, they feel like you're very intuitive as well. This person is unhappy with where they're at. They're unhappy with where they, what they got going on, what they're doing. This person is also finding out that you're going to get a new connection or you're going to get married. This person could have already found this out. Congratulations, Taurus, if that's your situation, if you're marrying someone new, you're newly engaged, or you just secretly got married to someone. For some of you, I just heard. Others of you, you're getting into a new connection or you're about to, but this person has found out that your wishes will be fulfilled. Your wishes will be granted, and this person is just going to be unhappy, and they're going to be stuck. This is somebody that feels like they're always going to be alone. This is somebody that feels like they're going to grow old alone. It's a water sign or a fire sign. Some of y'all was dealing with a fire sign or a water sign for sure. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sage. Whoever this is, they feel like they're going to be alone. Like they really do. And they and they feel like they deserve to be alone. They feel like they're never going to meet someone as good as you. They feel like you deserve the world. You deserve way better than them. That's how they feel. This person is not even going to come towards you. For some of you, this person is holding back. They feel like they already waste too much of your time is what I heard. This person is heartbroken, but they know that you manifest in somebody that's way better than them or you have successfully already manifested someone that's way better than them. I'm also hearing that someone is spying through divination. So Taurus, for some of you, somebody here is out here getting readings on y'all, okay? This person could out here be out here actually getting readings done on y'all to see what the hell you got going on. And for some of you, that's how they found out that everything working out in your favor and you in a new partnership or you soon will be. They're upset about it, but they also just feel like you deserve better than them. So they're going to fall back anyway. All right. Gemini. What is this person's current feelings towards my Gemini? Spirit, what is this person's current feelings towards Gemini? Give me three more shuffles for my Gemini's. What is this person's current feelings towards Gemini? Gemini, y'all could be dealing with somebody that's angry or they feel like you're very angry. Somebody here is dealing with someone that has a slick ass mouth, okay? Somebody here just be saying shit. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this is why, you know, it's trouble in paradise. We have the four wands in the reverse. Uh, Gemini, this person may feel like, you know, you argumentative or you say hurtful things, you hurt their feelings. I'm getting here that there's some sort of hurt feelings here, some sort of argument. That's what I'm seeing. Some of you could be in the process of divorcing someone, leaving, separating, splitting. Yeah, somebody here is definitely leaving. Four of Wands in the reverse here to the Six of Swords in the Chariot. Somebody here is on their way out. Somebody here is taking action, making moves on their way out. Also feel like whoever, yeah, Eight of, eight of Pentacles in the reverse. Somebody here don't want to work on nothing no more. This is not working on something anymore, not investing, filing for divorce, breaking up, separating, splitting. This is also somebody traveling, relocating. Somebody here could actually even be moving for those of you that live together. Yeah, this is what I'm seeing. And somebody here feels like that's the right thing to do here with the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody here feels like that's what they're destined to do. This is a part of their path. This is the best thing for them to do. And somebody else is up in their head about that and a lot of regret that they lost their person. Okay, clarify this Empress energy. We have an Empress showing up here. Clarify the Empress. Somebody here could have also been trying to be petty towards an Empress energy. Somebody here was jealous of an Empress here. That's not going to be successful here. Gemini here, you are showing up as the lovers. Some of you could be overcoming a betrayal. You could have felt betrayed in this situation for some of you. And you're, overcome, you're overcoming a betrayal. That was done by King of Wands in the reverse. So he could have been dealt with a fire sign. This person may want to return and come back and talk to you. Okay. This person may have an offer for you wanting to return and come back after betraying you in some way here. 
So somebody here could be leaving and coming back. Some of y'all was dealing with a situation where somebody here has left and now they want to come back or you both agreed to leave and now this person wants to return for some of you. Yeah, temperance in the reverse. I just feel like there's a lot of tension here between you and whoever this is. There's a lot of tension. There's a lot of arguing here. Yeah. And I see justice being served and an empress favor, high priestess. Justice, high priestess, and empress. Ace of wands in the reverse here. Somebody here is not going to get a brand new passionate beginning with an empress, high priestess, justice energy. Somebody here feels heavily burdened by that situation. And there's a queen of cups that's codependent on this king of wands in the reverse here. So there's, you know, Gemini, I hope this is not you because... You're in love with somebody that's going to continuously break your heart is what I'm seeing. For others of you, there's a third party that could possibly be a water sign that's in love with somebody that you're separating from as well. There's a lot of disappointment here. There's a lot of regret, hardships, struggles here. Queen of Swords in the reverse. They go that Queen of Swords in the reverse. That's what I was looking for. This person feels like you be arguing them down. But for many of you, you argue you argue with them as much as you do or y'all fight as much as you do because this situation needs to come to an end. You've been unhappy for quite some time. And also, a lot of you are unhappy because this person has betrayed you. In some way, you feel betrayed by this person. For some of you, you feel like this person actually wants to work together with someone else from their past. Some of you even feel like they're spying on someone from their past that got away from them or they missed out on the opportunity with. So you know that this person has emotions for other people outside of the connection that you two share. And I feel like that's another reason why you're upset. They know that you know all of this. This is not a secret. Even if y'all haven't actually discussed this, some of y'all y'all have, which is why I see all this arguing. But for others of you, if you actually never even brought this to their attention that you know, trust and believe they know that you know, okay? They know you know, and you probably know that they know you know. You know what I'm saying? So, there's that. If you know, you know. All right? Shit. If it's for you, you know as well. If it's not, leave it for somebody else. Because I do feel like that was a little confusing. Like, especially if it's not your message, you're going to be like, what the hell? But that's what I'm seeing. I'm just, you know, I'm reading it, how it's coming out. All right. Let's move on to my cancers. Cancer, what you got going on? Let's see. Cancer, 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 cancer. Somebody could be from Brooklyn is what I'm hearing. I just heard Brooklyn in the house. That's what I just heard. And someone that could be significant for somebody out there that may resonate with this message. Somebody could live in Brooklyn. Or that person that I'm about to pick up on could live in Brooklyn. Somebody could be from Brooklyn, even if they don't currently reside there. All right, let's see. What is this person's current feelings towards my cancer? Let's Two more shuffles. What is this person's current feelings towards cancer? What is this person's current feelings towards cancer? Some of you dealing with a Virgo. Some of you dealing with a Virgo. All right. Yep, some of you dealing with an Earth sign. Virgo, Taurus, or a Capricorn. Um, cancer, this person, you know, they don't want nobody but you. Yep, they don't want nobody but you. I also feel like this person feels like they don't have much to offer. This is somebody that's a little insecure. They could be insecure about like, I don't want to say their looks because I'm not really picking up on that. This person could be insecure when it comes to like their stability. Okay, this is somebody that may want to give you the world, but for some reason they, you know, they in a hard, they in a tough situation right now. Like this person's finances may not be um, where they would like it to be, that type of thing. Like this is somebody that don't really feel like they have much to offer they they feel like um like this is somebody that may want to like buy you nice things or you know buy a home for you really invest in you you know and they just feel like they can't do that like they feel like their pockets is not where it, should, where it needs to be in order to provide for you the way that they would like to um some of you dealing with an earth sign virgo taurus capricorn some of you are also dealing with a leo Okay, um, I also see here, yeah, this person would like to commit to you. Um, there's a lot of heartbreak here, a lot of anger and, and lies and deceit as well. I'm going to clarify that in a second. But Cancer, I just want to point out that you came out in the reverse. You're showing up as the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Um, let me clarify your energy as well. Clarify this Queen of Cups in the reverse. 
Ace of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person feels like you ain't interested, okay? <laughs> they feel like you got your back turned towards them. Um, this person is trying to build the strength and courage to, you know, express to you that they really want to be with you. Um, you are this person's wish fulfillment. With the Four of Wands here, this person definitely sees you as someone that is their wish fulfillment. They would love to be with you. Um, this person is crying, okay? Some of y'all, this person is in a lot of regret. They could even be crying over y'all. This person does keep a close eye on you. They watch you because they stuck on you. This is somebody that, you know, even if they had options, nobody really compared to you. They could have been going on dates and seeing other people and, you know, really entertaining other people just to see if they could fill a void, but they can't. This is somebody that doesn't feel like they could fill a void. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, okay? Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus, a Leo, a Virgo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, whoever you're dealing with, um, Cancer. This person is whew, in their feelings, okay? Clarify the um, three of sports, page of wands, reverse, seven of sports. What is this person's current feelings towards Cancer? They're heartbroken. I feel like this person is going through a lot in their personal life as well. Like, things that don't even have nothing to do with you is breaking this person's heart. This person could be in some sort of legal trouble as well. Like, this may not have absolutely anything to do with you, but this person is facing, like, some sort of difficulties here. Yeah, strong Virgo. Strong Virgo, okay. Virgo, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Leo. This person feel like you released them. You got your back towards them. You're not interested. Um, this person could have also tried to do some, some work on you. And that was an injustice here. And they getting karma for this shit too. Somebody here could have been dealing with a Libra. Somebody here is getting karma for doing some sort of uh, spell work or love work or some shit like that. That shit backfiring. Clarify this five of pentacles in the reverse for my cancers. Yep, somebody here would like to return, but they know that you're not having it. Queen of Swords. They know that you're standing your ground. They know that you're very um, guarded. They know that you're very closed off towards them. They know that you ain't feeling them. They know that it's, um, it's, it's going to be a cold day in hell before they could um, warm you up, right? This person feels like you just ice cold and the cycle is closed out, the world card fully over completed finito is done yeah this person's trying to manifest you right now this is somebody that's literally projecting right now so for a lot of you again with that that spell work the love spells and shit like that that i'm seeing this is somebody that could also be like projecting heavy okay like really trying to get you to think of them really trying to get you to feel sad and miss them because they sad and they miss you you know what i'm saying mm, 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 mm. That person is emotional, okay? Very, very emotional. Very emotional. Very emotional. All right. Let's move on to my Leos. What's going on, Leo? What is this person's current feelings towards my Leos? Tell us about this person's current feelings towards Leo. Let's get two more shuffles. What is this person's current feelings towards Leo? with you okay they love your stinking ass <laughs> let me stop leo you know i love you too but yeah somebody's in love with you okay they're in love with you could be a water sign could be a gemini could be another leo okay it could be an air sign that's mad you know some of y'all got somebody that's in love with y'all and then y'all got somebody else that knows about this person that's in love with you and they pissed off about that Somebody here know that somebody still desire you, somebody still love you, and that pisses them off. Leo, you could have moved on from this person. This could be somebody that y'all don't even talk to or deal with, but this person is still in love with you. And somebody here knows that someone is not over you and they still in love with you and they are pissed off about that. Clarify this Queen of Cups energy. For some of you, this could be the somebody that y'all have children with. 
others of you this could be like a water sign a cancer scorpio pisces but even if it's not a water sign this is just somebody that um is emotional could be a water sign could be somebody you have children with could be another leo um but whoever it is, this is somebody that has a lot of feelings, okay? This cup's energy is, is giving me a lot of emotion, right? This person's emotional. They would like to return. They would like to come back. This person is trying to think of a way to return. This person is trying to think of a way to be with you. This, I'm telling you, some of y'all dealing with another Leo. Leo, we have you here twice, the sun and the strength in the reverse. And for some of you, you know, you know that this person is not over you as well, but you feel like it's no saving this connection. You feel like this situation is over. Um, some of you could be secretly trying to make peace with this person, especially if y'all have children together. You could be, you know, trying to make peace and bring peace to the situation for you, you know, with you and this person. But a lot of y'all, y'all don't feel the same. Somebody here does not feel the same. It's like somebody's child's mother is still in love with their baby daddy but the baby daddy is no longer in love with them and then they got somebody else that they dealing with that knows that the child's mother is still in love with the masculine and they're pissed about that that's literally what i'm seeing okay somebody's child's mother is in love with their child's father the child's father has moved on the person that they moved on with is aware that the child's mother is still in love with the masculine that they're with and they're pissed off about this. Somebody here could be a Gemini, a Pisces, a Cancer, a Sagittarius, another Leo, a, a Scorpio, okay? Yeah. Ten of Pentacles and the Justice. What's the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice? What's the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice? Some of y'all could be done with Libras. The Star card. The Death in the Reverse. Five of Pentacles. Somebody here also feels like they're about to be in the Five of Pentacles because something here didn't go as planned when it comes to them gaining some sort of financial status. Somebody here feels like someone's in this star energy, very loving, very healing, going to be very abundant here. And somebody else feels like they're going to be left out in the cold because of this. Somebody here feels like somebody going to ghost them, like they're not going to talk to them. Some of you could have like a legal situation going on as well. Somebody here may have to pay someone, okay? Like somebody here may have to pay somebody here yeah, due to a legal situation. Um, yeah, King of Pentacles in the reverse here. Pages was reverse, five cups. I also feel like there was somebody here that was very codependent, very money hungry here. That's watching to wait and see when somebody gets a new beginning, a new opportunity here. Everything I'm saying is the truth. They're going to want to come towards this person and make up with this person, but it's not going down. Somebody here is simply going to be in the Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Somebody here is going to be sad, left out in the cold, and it ain't going to be nothing that they could do about it because they betrayed this person that is getting this um, abundance here or getting this uh, new beginning here. They betrayed this Queen of Pentacles in the upright. Queen of Pentacles, the Star of Justice, Ten of Pentacles. Somebody betrayed this energy here, this person. And they're going to be watching to see when's the perfect time that they could come and talk to this person. But this person is showing up as the hermit. Could be a Virgo. Could be an Aquarius. Could be a Libra. Could be a Cancer Pisces. Whoever it is, this person is silent. This person's not going to want to deal with someone here. All right. So I feel like those were multiple messages for some reason, Leo. Um, Y'all take the parts that resonated with you and then leave the rest of the message for somebody else because I definitely feel like I picked up on multiple, um, definitely multiple energies, multiple people, but multiple situations, right? All right, Virgo. What is this person's current feelings towards my Virgo? Spirit, what is this person's current feelings towards Virgo? Two more shuffles for my Virgos. What is this person's current feelings towards Virgo? Some of you dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. We have the Empress. We also have the Hierophant. Let's see what's going on, Virgo. Somebody that's codependent on you and can't let you go is watching you. They unhappy in their living situation or in their marriage, in their relationship, in their family situation. They feel like it's an injustice that you heal from 
being with them that you healed from all the pain and hurt and drama that they caused you. They feel like it's an injustice that you're not hurt. This person actually wishes that you were hurt. Whoever this is that's codependent on you and your energy that's unhappy where they are and with who they are with, this person feels like it's not fair that you're not hurting over them. This is somebody that actually wants you to be heartbroken about them, but you're not. And they see that and it's pissing them off. This person feels like you're very stable. They feel like you're happy, you're healing. <laughs> they looking at you like, I can't believe Virgo is not crying over me. I can't believe Virgo is not sad. How is Virgo not sad? How is Virgo moving on? How is Virgo chilling? Somebody here wants to know that because whatever they did to you, they know that if somebody would have did that to them that they really care about, it would have tore them apart. It would have tore them into pieces. And it's not to say that you wasn't hurt, Virgo, but you just very strong and you healed yourself. This person knows that it would have took them a long time or maybe they wouldn't even been able to recover, okay? And that's why they're very confused as they watch you. They're very confused as they sit back and spy on you to see that you have healed. You're not faking it. At one point, this person thought you was faking it, like you was actually really low-key sad or stressed and worried. But they actually now realize that you're not sad, you're not stressed, you're not worried. This is like shocking to them. Yeah. This person could have also been sending some negative energy your way as well. And that's also shocking them that you came out of this, like you healed from whatever they were sending to you, whatever negative energy they were sending to you. They could have worked together with a high priestess in a reverse to do this. And they just can't believe this shit. Like they can't believe that you are like, you're good. Now this person wanna talk to you. They showing up as the king of wands in reverse, but we also have the devil reverse, king of swords reverse. You better avoid this person at all costs, Virgo. This ain't a good energy. This is not somebody that's trustworthy. This is somebody. This is not somebody that's honest. Somebody that you need to entertain. This is not somebody that you need to allow back into your life. Keep walking. Keep moving forward. Keep pushing forward. Don't look back. Um, clarify this King of Wands in the reverse. Some of y'all could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. Others of you could have been dealing with a Capricorn, an Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Virgo, whoever you was dealing with, this person is mad that you're stable right now. I promise you they are. They watch you a lot. They mad that you working as well. This person wanted you to give up on yourself. They wanted you to stop investing in yourself, stop working, stop taking care of yourself. They looking at you and you looking, not only are you taking care of yourself and looking good, you actually looking very blessed. You looking highly favored and blessed, shorty. <laughs> right? You looking real good out here in these streets. And this person is actually secretly going through a lot. With this Ten of Cups reverse, Nine of Cups reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune reverse, this person is secretly going through a lot. And they're watching you, and they're in a lot of regret. They're disappointed. They got their head down. They sad. They got their tail between their damn legs. They're mad because they feel like they impulsively and foolishly made a wrong choice here. They feel like they, they threw dirt on your name. They also could have been lying about their feelings for you. I'm seeing here for some of you, I'm sorry, y'all. Excuse the noise in the back. I'm seeing here for some of you that this person actually lied about their feelings towards you. And they feel like that was very foolish of them to do. Because they actually really do care about you. They actually really do love you. That's why they can't stop watching you. They can't stop thinking about you. I heard they can't stop dreaming about you. This person actually dreams about you two being together. That's what I'm seeing here. This is somebody that literally be dreaming about you two being together. But, they also, but when they wake up, they realize that you're gone. Here you are, Virgo. Five of Pentacles to the Hermit. There you are, Virgo. This person actually secretly dream about you. Dream about being with you, how life would be if they would have been with you. Shoulda, coulda, would've. Together, y'all together in their dreams. And when they wake up to reality, they're exhausted and they just watch you. It's just like a fantasy for them at this point. They feel like you left them out in the cold, Virgo. And they feel like you quiet, you solid. They haven't heard from you in a long time, whoever this is. And they feel like they're never going to hear from you again. That's how they feel. They feel like you will never reach out to them. Okay? You're never going to reach out. You are going for them. That's how they feel. Well, there you have it. Okay? There you have it. This person feels like you went through some sort of huge transformation, too. Like, you're much different than the person you were when they was dealing with you. In a good way. They feel like you went through a huge transformation. This person watched your transformation as well. 
They're very impressed, but they could have also been talking shit about you to other people. This is the type of person that was saying that they don't love you. They could have been saying things, nasty things about you that they don't like. Um, just talking shit. It's, it's very childish energy. It's like almost saying like, man, I don't like Virgo. You know, Virgo got a bad attitude or Virgo actually stink. Like Virgo smell funny or you know, Virgo is whack, you know, Virgo can't even cook, like, Virgo food was nasty that they used to cook me, like, you know, Virgo, oh, I hate Virgo, and this motherfucker be watching you 24-7 when ain't nobody looking, and, you know, they be seeing you in their dreams, and they really love you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, they really love you, they really love your food, they really love your perfume, your cologne that you wear, they really love you, like, this person was talking hella shit. <laughs> Everything I'm saying is the truth. Ace of Swords, now they gotta eat that. For some of you, you was definitely dealing with a fire sign. This person is stressed out over you now. This person is tired, and they tired of lying to themselves as well as what I just heard. They tired of lying to themselves. This person was an Aquarius, an Aries, Leo, or Sash for some of you. Or any other sign that I mentioned earlier. But that's who y'all was dealing with. That's who this is. They up in their head thinking about you. For real. They feel like the only person that they played is themselves. And Virgo, they feel like you're getting abundance. You're getting your wish fulfillment. You're getting your wishes granted. They see this shit. They like unfucking believable This person is going to watch you soar into your highest, your higher power, into the, be the best version of yourself. Like, you're elevating, you're growing, you're evolving. You just keep getting better and better. Whoever this is, they've been watching you for quite some time. And they studying you. And they feel like every time they look at you, you doing some more cool shit. Like, you just keep getting better and better. They feel like you're going to be very wealthy or very abundant. Or you just, you attract a lot of good fortune and opportunities in your life. They watch you and they see that shit. They could have even been trying to cause delays for that. They could have been trying to block your abundance, block your success, cause delays for it. They feel like you walked away from them because they had a third party. They actually mad that you walked away from them because they had a third party. They wish you would have still stayed and been with them. But you feel like that shit is toxic. You ain't dealing with that shit. And they could be getting karma right now, too, for doing that. They getting karma for talking about you, talking ill, speaking ill in your name. They getting karma for trying to block your abundance, block your success. They getting karma for all this shit. Meanwhile, Virgo, you're going to have the Ten of Pentacles, Four of Wands. A lot of y'all going to get into a new relationship. Y'all going to get married. A lot of y'all are getting uh, a pay raise, upgrades here. Your um, your fortune, your salary is changing. Your tax bracket is changing is what I'm hearing. And this cycle is completely closed out with whoever this is that I just picked up on. All right, let's move on to my Libras. Libra. What's going on, Libra, 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 Libra? Spirit, tell us how this person is currently feeling towards my Libras. What is this person's current feelings towards Libra? What is this person's current feelings towards Libra? Give me three more shuffle, Spirit. What is this person's current feelings towards Libra? What is this person's current feelings towards Libra? This person, right, is a liar. They could be calling your ass a liar, but I'm seeing who the real liar is, is them. Okay, Libra, I don't know. Y'all got some foolishness going on here. Libra, you always got some shit, man. This person could be an Aquarius or Aries or a Leo or a Capricorn. This person feel like you blocked them. You're not talking to them because they're toxic, okay? This person could also be everything that I'm saying, they're saying it about you, though. This is what I'm getting. It's a fire sign, a water sign, or a Capricorn specifically. Whoever this is, <laughs> Libra, everything that they are, they're saying that you are. So if this person is toxic, if you block them and stop talking to them, if you dump them, if you broke up with them, they running around saying they did that shit because you're the problem. This person is a hell raiser. They're toxic. They going around saying, nah, I don't talk to Libra no more. I stopped dealing with Libra. I stopped fucking with Libra. Libra is toxic. Libra is crazy. Libra ain't really what y'all think Libra is. <laughs> Libra is faking. Libra's a phony. Libra ain't shit. I'm telling you. 
and it's really them okay they're really the ones in this energy but they saying that shit about you i also feel like whoever this is they're in love with you okay it's very similar to virgo's message where virgo had someone that was speaking ill on their name in the past and now they regret it because they see how good virgo's doing in their life and they actually really in love with virgo but they've been lying to everybody that they don't really care about virgo Libra, it's like the same thing. Like somebody here knows that you don't want to deal with them. And so because they know that you want you don't want them and they can't have you, they just acting like they dumped you, like you're the problem. It's like somebody here that's too embarrassed to say I had Libra and lost Libra. It's like now nah, I had Libra and I got rid of Libra because Libra ain't really who you think Libra is. Like people could actually even be I'm getting here that this person has friends that know you. This person either has friends that know you or they have friends that they actually like talked to you. So they talked about you so much, too, that these friends had to go and see like who you were. And when these when these friends see who you are, they like, nah, Libra seemed kind of cool, you know? Libra cool. You know what I mean? Like, what's wrong with Libra? What you said was wrong with Libra? You know what I'm saying? So it's like people are starting to realize that this person just talking out their ass, okay? They just talking out the side of their neck. People probably even feel like this person really do love you, which they do, because they're showing up as the king of cups in the upright. They actually do have strong feelings for you. Um, and I feel like people that really know this person is starting to see that. They may be just letting this person, like, continue to pretend that they don't, but they know. People that really know this person know that this person just tight. Um, <laughs> this is funny. This person saying you the problem though. For some of you, there could have been some sort of addictions as well in a situation. Like somebody here may have had a, um, a substance abuse issue. Somebody here could be saying Libra that you was a drunk or you was, yeah, I'm hearing you a drunk, you an alcoholic or you do drugs or you pop pills or you smoke too much. Uh, also, yeah, I'm hearing a whole lot of things. Yeah, Libra, you a whole lot of things. Okay, you everything but the child of God. <laughs> okay. And this person is really in love with you though. That's the funny shit. It's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Capricorn. Could be a fire sign, could be a water sign, could be a Capricorn. Yeah. And this person be spying on you. And they see how independent and how emotionally fulfilled you are on your own. Libra, for some of y'all, y'all out here doing a lot and you doing it as a solo person. And this person looking at you and they like, well, I'll be damned. <laughs> This person is getting karma, okay? They get a lot of karma. And they get karma with somebody here that don't really care about them. They ended up being with somebody that don't really give two shits about them. They ended up with a queen of cups in reverse, judgment reverse. This person ended up with a karmic partner. This person walked right into their karma. They could have thought they was walking away from you into a better situation. And they ended up walking straight into their karmic uh, cycle here, their karmic relationship. Yep, that's what I'm seeing. They could be dealing with a Capricorn, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, a Gemini. Who else is here? A Leo. Whoever they dealing with, that person is... I don't know. That person is kind of cold-hearted. That's how they feel. They feel like they're dealing with somebody that's cold-hearted. That is, um, I'm hearing they evil. So this person is calling the person that they with now evil. They only feel that way, though, because that's their karmic partner. And they showing up as the emperor in the reverse. So they deserve to be with this queen of cups in the reverse. We don't feel bad for this person. Um, they want to be with you, though. With this two of cups here and this king of cups. Yeah. Two of cups, king of cups, king of wands. Oh, they want to be with you. And they feel like you have options. Mm -hmm. They feel like you have options, and they don't like that. They want to make an offer. They want to give you an offer. They don't want this cycle to be over. They feel like you two have unfinished business. They also hoping that you remain single. So those of you that's single, this person is watching you, hoping that you remain single because they want to give you an offer here. Whoever they're dealing with knows this and they're mad. Whoever this Queen of Cups in the reverse is, they're also showing up as the Queen of Swords in the reverse. This person could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Whoever this is, they're mad at this person because they know that this person is watching you. They're mad at this person because they know that this person is desiring you and you're this person's wish fulfillment. They're also mad because everything is working out in your favor. It's like whoever these people are, they wanted to prove that you weren't shit and they were 
better than you. This person wanted to prove that they stopped dealing with you because they deserve better or they're too good for you. And they also wanted to prove that whoever they was, whoever they got with is also better than you. But it's actually reverse. Y'all know, I don't like to say anybody is better than anybody. I don't. But when I say it's reverse, this is just like, I'm saying it's reverse because this is how these people feel. They actually surprised and shocked to see what you really doing out here or what you really got going on because they both were under the impression that you wasn't shit compared to them. Like, motherfuckers really was trying shit on you, Libra. And now they looking like, what Libra doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like niggas is quiet, like they silent, okay? Like, God is really making people eat their words when it come to you. Very similar to Virgo energy. Uh, Libra, if you have Virgo in your chart or something like that, or you resonate with Virgo a lot, I don't know. You should watch Virgo message too because it's very similar energy where somebody here was saying something when they really felt the complete opposite and then somebody here saying something, really believing that shit, trying to shit on y'all. And then when they go to look to see what you got going on, it's like the truth is in the pudding. Like you can't really talk shit. You can't really talk too much shit about Virgo no more. You can't really talk too much shit about Libra no more, for real, for real, because it's pretty obvious that they doing pretty good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like this is like this is giving me the energy, and there's nothing, no shade. Okay, I hope nobody get offended by this, but this is giving me the energy of like someone trying to you know and this is egotistical shit like y'all could have been dealing with somebody that had a big ego or dealing with somebody that was a uh, very like materialistic you know those kind of energies where they put a lot of emphasis on like how somebody dressed or what kind of car somebody drives or you know what kind of uh shoes they wear and what kind of you know jewelry they got on like shit like that like somebody here could have been very superficial somebody here could have thought you wasn't really hitting on shit libra because maybe you're not as superficial, right? And it's like, looking at you, you, you know, you just probably look like somebody that's just, you know, just chilling. Like, you don't really be doing the most. You're not really into all that flashy shit. And it's like, you actually a fucking billionaire. You know, I'm just using it as an example. Like, that's the energy. And that's how it really is. Like, most people that are actual, like, millionaires and billionaires, they have on fucking Levi jeans, New Balance, and a Hanes t-shirt. Like, no bullshit. And I'm not saying that you don't dress nicely because I know Libras dress nice. But I'm just using it as an example. Like, you be surprised. Like, those are the people that actually are billionaires. And then the people that are driving these expensive cars and have on all these flashy washes and uh, flashy clothes. These motherfuckers don't be having a pot to piss in or they be living paycheck to paycheck. But they look like they a million. They worth a million bucks. You know what I'm saying? So they be driving, you know, whole mortgages. Like their car be somebody's mortgage. Meanwhile, they actually renting they shit. They don't even own they shit. You know, like it's that type of energy. Like looks are deceiving. Don't judge a book by its cover. But that's the type of energy it just gave me, Libra. So a lot of y'all, somebody here was like looking at you and judging you or just thinking that they know what you about or what you have or what you got going on. And you really the complete opposite. This could even be somebody saying that you sleep around and your ass hasn't had, you haven't had sex in years. You know, this could even be somebody saying, oh, that you steal from people, you a thief. You make an honest living. You get all your money the honest way. You know, it's like, <laughs> it's just rumors. It's just lies. It's just gossip, like for real, for real. And that's the fucking truth. Ace of Swords, as soon as I cut the day. That's the truth, baby, <laughs> all right? That's the truth, that's the truth of your ass. All right, Scorpio. What's up, Scorp? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. What is this person's current feelings towards my Scorpio? Spirit, tell us about this person's current feelings towards Scorpio. What is this person's current feelings towards Scorpio? Two more shuffles. Scorpio, if you was in a relationship or in a marriage with somebody, they're burdened that it didn't work out. 
They thought that you were the one that they were going to spend the rest of their life with. No bullshit. They really thought that you two were going to grow old together and live out your final days together. They can't believe that this didn't work out the way that they thought it would. Some of y'all could have even been with somebody for a long time. And for some reason, y'all no longer together now. This person is like, they're very disappointed. That's not what they thought this was going to be. Okay. Some of y'all could be dealing with an Aquarius or an Aries. A Pisces Cancer. Scorpio, somebody here also hopes that you get your feelings hurt. Somebody here hopes you get your feelings hurt. They hope you get rejected in some way. They may know that you have a desire for someone. Even this, even if this is like a secret desire that you have for someone, somebody here is aware of it and they hope that you get rejected. They hope that whoever you want doesn't want you back, okay? This could be the person that y'all are not, that y'all no longer with that's disappointed. But there's somebody here in your energy that knows that you secretly really desire someone and they hope that this person turn your ass down. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to laugh. Yeah, whoever this is, they they mad, okay? I was going to call them bitter, but I ain't even going to, I ain't going to do that. Listen, this person tight, okay? It could be a Virgo, could be a Gemini, could be an Aries, an Aquarius, whoever this is, they a little salty. This person is mad because they feel like you break from them. They feel like you break from them in a situation. They could also feel like you are very flighty, very unreliable, very inconsistent with your time and efforts. And I'm telling you, this person hope you get rejected by the person that you want. They hope you don't get shit. They know that you want an empress. I'm telling you, whoever this is, they know that you are desiring someone that's in this empress energy. And they hoping that this person rejects you because you still ain't shit. So whoever this is, they like, you ain't shit. You still a player. You don't deserve no empress. They hoping that this empress walks away from you. This empress could have even really walked away from you. And now they happy about that shit. They are very happy about it. Okay. Scorpio, this could be the other way around as well. Scorpio, you are this empress. Okay. You are in this empress energy, Scorpio. And you could have been dealing with somebody that was a player. And this person has somebody that they bred from and that they didn't actually end up lasting with having a successful marriage or relationship with. And whoever that is that they ended up having an unsuccessful marriage or relationship with, that person is hoping that their person that they're breaking up with, that they're divorcing, they hope that they get their heart broken by you. Because they're saying that you're too good for them. So they hope you walk away from them. And if you are walking away from this person, Scorpio, as the empress that you are, this person is gloating. This person that's going through this divorce with this other, this masculine, this person that is breaking up with this person, they are like, they're mad about their divorce. They're mad about their breakup. But they happy as hell on the other end because you walked away from this person. You don't want them. They happy because they didn't want this person to be happy with you. They feel like this person don't deserve to be happy because of all the shit that they put them through. And they also feel like this person just don't deserve you. Whoever this is that they are um, breaking up with, divorcing, and separating from, this person feels like you deserve much better than them. And they hope that you walk away. And if you actually did walk away, which I feel like some of y'all did with this Empress Eight of Cups, they happy about this shit. They like, ah, -ha. <laughs> somebody here happy as hell. They like, ah, ha. okay. It's like, I'm going through this messy breakup, this messy divorce, but I'm happy because they ain't going to get so-and-so. So-and-so don't want them. Don't nobody want your ass. It's like, it's almost like this person is rubbing it in somebody's face. Don't nobody want you. I don't want you no more. You did me dirty. And the empress that you in love with, they don't want your ass no more either. So now what? You know, it's like somebody is like teasing someone. Somebody is laughing. Oh, Lord. That's definitely a woman, I feel, laughing at a masculine because the empress don't want them. Scorpio, you could be this empress or Scorpio, you could be the, even the masculine in this situation. Take it as it resonates. Y'all know 
which I got bread on. All right. Sagittarius. What's going on, Sagittarius? What is this person's current feelings towards my Sagittarius? What is this person's current feelings towards Sagittarius? Spare, give me three more shuffles. What is this person's current feelings towards Sagittarius? Some of y'all could be dealing with a Gemini. Others of you could be dealing with a Scorpio. Let's do one more shuffle. What is what is this person's current feelings towards Sag? Yeah, some of y'all dealing with a Gemini, a Scorpio, a Virgo is what I just heard as well. Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo. All right, Sag. Here you are, Sagittarius. First card out. You ain't waste no time, so you mad. I feel like you're pissed off. Okay, Sagittarius, I feel like you're pissed off. You may be feeling imbalanced right now. You may be feeling like your emotions are all over the place. Some of you feel like this person triggers you like no other. This person could also be feeling this way towards you. Okay, some of y'all dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Yep, strong Cancer here. All right. It's like a tug of war. Yeah. Somebody in love with you, though. <coughs> That's the truth. The truth is that somebody has strong feelings for you, especially if it's a water sign. If you are dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, this person in love with you. They could have put you in a third party situation, though. But this person is definitely in love with you. They don't want you to see them for who they truly are, though. This person got some dark uh, ways about them. Dark hidden secrets is what I just heard. This person, we all got demons, right? I really truly believe that. We all have demons. Um, this person got some, some dark shit here with them, no. They do. They do. Um, but we not gonna judge this person. We not gonna talk bad about this person. I don't really feel like this person actually did anything to you necessarily. Clarify this, let me see. But whoever this is, they may be feeling bad, like they're a bad person. This is someone that acts like they're cool with things that they've done, but secretly when they get alone, they actually be, they be feeling bad about a lot of shit that they've done in their life. Um. Their energy is very heavy, very dark. This is a very complicated person. I'm getting that it's a masculine energy that I'm picking up on. He's very complicated and he has a lot of layers to his personality. I feel like he's often misunderstood. I feel like this masculine comes across as someone that's very scary or very dominant, very aggressive, very straightforward, very stern. Um, just like a dictator type of energy almost giving me tyrant bully energy at times um but i'm getting here that they have layers to themselves they have layers to their personality they actually are very loving they actually are like a teddy bear low-key behind the scenes behind closed doors this person is a softy or they just feel like you bought that side out of them nobody really gets that side of them nobody really knows them to be that way but it's something about you, Sagittarius, where you have tamed this beast, okay? And this person feels like they love you and they have strong feelings for you and they will do anything for you. And they want to come back. They want to come back towards you. I mean, they feel like you two are soulmates. They trying to manifest you and call you in right now. You know, they sorry for putting you in drama. They sorry for putting you in a third party. They feel like you, they got you caught up in a situation with someone else that was very like aggressive and argumentative and causing a lot of problems for you. And they sorry about that shit. This person wants to reconcile. And I, I strongly feel like there's a reconciliation here. Oh yeah, there's a reconciliation here. <coughs> we have the... um five of pentacles in the reverse the star two of cups eight of wands ace of pentacles three of wands ten of pentacles six of pentacles oh yeah sagittarius you may actually be open to this reconciliation i strongly feel like there's a reconciliation here between you and this person some of y'all could even be waiting for this person to just like explain things to you to like give you some sort of clarity give you some sort of answers but with the three of wands here, the ten of pentacles, two of cups are, it's like y'all coming together. Y'all actually 
going to heal the connection. Y'all actually going to work things out. Y'all going to talk about things. There's an offer coming in from them, a real solid offer. I actually see y'all being able to um work this thing on out. Yep, in due time. Will of Fortune here. We have the Will of Fortune here in the upright. In due time, you two will work things out. Knight of Cups, they are on their way. Yep, that's what I see. They on their way. You may be feeling this person's energy right now. You probably knowing that they on their way. Some of you even getting prepared for this person's return, arrival. You know that they coming. Y'all have a strong connection. Some of y'all are able to either even um like telepathically communicate with one another, which is pretty dope. But um this person is not ready to let you go. And I truthfully, honestly do feel like you're not ready to let them go either. That's what I'm seeing here. So if you hate this person and you don't want nothing to do with them, then this message ain't for you. Because I promise you, what I'm seeing here is somebody here is open to this reconciliation. And it's going to happen. It's fated to happen. Will of Fortune is there. That shit is fated to happen. And y'all got the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all are going to be building together. There's going to be abundance and wealth and great fortune and great opportunities that y'all have together. Y'all going to be creating a really, really wealthy, healthy, successful, peaceful, joyous, lovely life together, okay? Very nice, Sagittarius. I mean, that person, they're a little rough around the edges. They may be very intimidating to a lot of people, but they love the hell out of your ass, okay? And ain't nothing wrong with being with somebody that's rough, yo. Ain't nothing wrong with being with somebody that's rough. Especially, you know, because if they really love you and they soft around you, you know, at least you know you got to protect them. At least you ain't at least you know you ain't got no bitch on your arm. Like you ain't got no soft ass dude on your arm. You know what I'm saying? Like who wants a punk? So congratulations, Sag Sagittarius. I wish you and your thug the best. Okay. Some of y'all got some thug love. Y'all getting some thug passion in your life. Okay, you get some thug loving. <laughs> Alright, let's move on about Capricorns. What's going on with Capricorn? All right, what is this person's current feelings towards my Capricorn? Spare, what is this person's current feelings towards Capricorn? Give me four more shuffles. What is this person's current feelings towards Capricorn? Some of you, somebody here feels like there's no equal give and take. Somebody here is ready to give up on a situation because they feel like they're not getting what they're putting in. It's like I'm doing all the work and you're not even meeting me halfway. I don't think I want to do this no more with you, baby. Yeah, six of wands in reverse. All right, yeah. Somebody here ain't feeling something no more. Somebody here got one foot out the door, okay? If somebody, if y'all are in an actual relationship, I feel like somebody here got one foot out the door. <laughs> somebody here is on the verge of leaving someone if they haven't already. I, I feel like this is a lot of back and forth, though. There may be like a lot of back and forth, like making up, breaking up. One minute y'all on good terms, the next minute y'all on bad terms. It's like, what the fuck is really going on? You need to make up your mind. Do you want to be with me? Do you not want to be with me? Are we working on this or are we not? Like, what's really happening? Somebody here with the Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Hierophant reverse, Queen of Wands reverse. It's like, man, I think I don't want to work on this. I think I don't because I don't trust you. Somebody here is saying that they want to be with somebody that they can trust. And somebody here is tired of the person that they're dealing with because they feel like they can't trust who they with. It's like, I can't trust you. I would love to work this out with you. I would love to remain with you. I would love to be with you. But I can't trust you. I can't trust you. Um, that's literally what I'm saying. Somebody here is like, yo, I cannot trust you. I want to be happy. I want to be on my own. I can't trust you, so I'm ready to do my own thing. Somebody here could have also got pregnant secretly by somebody else. And it's like, there it goes. See, I can't trust you. You don't even know who your baby daddy is or you just fucked around and got pregnant by somebody else behind my back. I should beat your ass is what I just heard. <laughs> Woo, okay, that came out of nowhere. Some of y'all dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, an Aries, a Taurus. Somebody here felt like they was dealing with somebody that's for everybody. Listen, I'm just reading the cards, okay? Somebody here feel like they was dealing with somebody that was for everybody. 
And what's so crazy is, is that I actually feel like a man feels this way about a woman. Yeah, a man could be feeling this way about a woman. Like, yo, you for everybody. You for the streets, homegirl. You know what I'm saying? Like, you for everybody. Like, I thought you was going to be different. I thought you was valid. Nah, you actually just out here getting tossed like salad. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was mad corny, but y'all get what I'm saying? Yeah, ten of cups in the reverse. Somebody here unhappy. It's like, yo, you can't turn a hoe into a housewife. All right? Like, somebody here really feel like they thought very highly of someone that ended up disappointing them. It's like, yo, you are, like, for the streets. Like, I'm, I'm sending you back to the streets. I want to be with somebody that's respectable, somebody that I can trust. This person may even have somebody in mind that they can actually trust and be with. So, plot motherfucking twist. Because we got the Queen of Cups, the Star, and the King of Swords. Whoever this is, they thinking about somebody. Could be a Leo, could be a, a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, okay? A Taurus. Whoever this is, um, they actually have somebody in mind that they feel like is respectable, that has morals, that could actually be trusted, that could actually be a wife. <laughs> And they about to take a leap of faith and go towards that person. Yep. Somebody here is about to take a leap of faith and go towards somebody that they feel like is a is a woman of of God. They feel like a, this person is a, a wife. This person is somebody that deserves to be courted, nurtured, protected, provided for, and loved. And they feel like whoever they was dealing with. As somebody that they need to give back to the streets. Listen, I'm just, I'm reading what I'm saying. That's all. All right. <laughs> like, somebody really feel that way. Capricorn, you could be a, a man feeling that way about somebody. Capricorn, you could be the woman that this man feel this way about. Capricorn, you could also be the woman that this man wants to go towards and they felt this way about another woman. Y'all take that shit as it resonates, y'all. All right. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. What is this person's current feelings towards my Aquarius? What is this person's current feelings towards Aquarius? Spare, give me two more shuffles. What is this person's current feelings towards Aquarius? Some of you could be dealing with Pisces, but somebody can have strong Pisces on your chart. Aquarius, you may also have strong Pisces in your chart. I just saw the Emperor too. Some of you could be dealing with an Aries, a Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo. All right, we got the Tower here. We have the Empress. Some of y'all dealing with a Libra or a Taurus. I just said Taurus. Some of y'all dealing with Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius. Here you are, showing up as a star. You in an upright baby. That's good. Okay, I feel like somebody here want to make a move, but they they laying low. I'm hearing I'm going to lay low. I'm going to fall back. Somebody here could be planning on how to make a move, planning their next move, planning on how to take some sort of action here. Oh, somebody here planning. Somebody here planning to cause some sort of conflict for you, Aqua. That shit getting shut down. The fuck out of here. <laughs> like that shit getting put to a fucking end like these motherfuckers thought they was about to fuck something up they ain't fucking shit up Aquarius if you got beef with somebody some of you you don't even some of you you know that somebody is feeling some type of way towards you right somebody want the smoke somebody feeling a little staticky right somebody feeling real froggy and shit they ready to leap <laughs> But it's like this shit getting shut down. <laughs> like it's getting shut down real quick. With the um, this is mad funny how this came out. Wow, spirit. Um, <laughs> with the five of wands and the world card here though, that shit getting shut down immediately. Cause you're an empress, Aquarius. You showing up as the empress and the star. Come on now, you know everything working your favor, Aqua. You the empress, you the star, the queen of cups. Yo, touch not my anointed. <laughs> Aquarius, you're anointed. You're a chosen one. Literally, that's what I'm seeing. You're a chosen one. You're anointed. You're one of God's favorite. You part of the 144 club. Okay. 
you're highly favored, you're protected on all realms and all lifetimes. <laughs> Like, your protection is crazy, Aqua. Damn, who are you? You part of the tribe. But anyways, Aquarius, as the Empress, Queen of Cups, the star, Hermit, some of y'all could have Virgo, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Taurus placements. Somebody here getting judgment for trying you, baby. Oh, yeah. Ooh, big karma on their heads. Somebody here is getting uh, karma for trying you. Somebody here fucked around and found out. Aquarius, you your picture is next to fuck around and find out. You are a fuck around and find out was a person. <laughs> okay, like literally, Aquarius, you are a fuck around and find out was a person. I'm literally freezing right now. My my whole body temperature just changed. Aquarius, you are powerful. You hear me? Some of y'all probably don't even know how powerful y'all are. Somebody here watching you. Somebody here that was trying to cause conflict for you is watching you going through karma in secret. You're going to hear about somebody's karma too. You're going to hear about somebody's tower. With the judgment in the reverse and the tower here, pages 40, oh, you're going to hear about somebody's shit. You're going to hear about somebody's karma. You're going to hear about somebody's fall. You're going to be like, what? I can't make it up. You're going to hear about it. Yo, I'm tapped in, dog. Because I'm telling you, Aqua, Literally, as I said, you was going to hear about it. I saw the eight of wands in my mind's eye. Lo and behold, the next card that came out was the eight of wands. Yo, this shit crazy, man. Some, you going to hear about somebody fall. You going to hear about somebody's karma. You going to hear about somebody's tower. You going to hear about this shit. And this is somebody that thought that they was about to come bring some smoke your way. That shit got shut down quick. God said, <laughs> okay, like y'all ever watch the JV Fox show and y'all remember when Braxton be like <laughs> that's what the most high did. The most high said skirt. Okay, get them get y'all asses, get y'all karmic asses over there. Exit stage left. Okay. God threw a bunch of rocks at these motherfuckers. Like, yo, you're mad protected, Aquarius, for real. I would not fuck with you at all. Yeah, because you're a high fucking high priestess <laughs> like bitch what <laughs> bitch what bitch who you're a fucking high priestess aqua baby girl high priestess empress star queen of cups the hermit touch not my anointed aqua you chosen, boo. Oh, you chosen, chosen. You know how people be walking around out here, um, chosen one. Oh, you chosen, chosen, aqua. You chosen, chosen. Not because you said you chosen. That's because you chosen because the most high chose you for real, for real. <laughs> Aquarius. You. Whatever set of aquas be watching my channel, I love y'all. Because I every, every time I talk to y'all, your energy remains the same. Like, you just really the shit. You are the high priestess. You are the empress. You are the star. You are the queen of cups. You are the hermit. You're a seer. Some of y'all could be readers as well. You could be a tarot reader. You could be um, a messenger, an oracle. You could be somebody that has all the clears. You are literally a seer, a born seer, a natural born healer. Literally, you are an, a, an angel walking this earth. You're part of the soul tribe. Um, Definitely part of my soul tribe. But whoever this is that thought that they was about to rain on your parade... This person want to hold on to you now. Could have been a water sign or a fire sign. This person also had a queen of pentacles in the reverse that was working together with them to try to cause you problems. They could have been working together with a Virgo or a Scorpio for some of y'all. Justice is being served for you though, Aqua. Everything is working out in your favor because the most high ride with you. The hierophone, I can't make it up. Most high ride with you. I also feel like somebody here is pissed off because you out here about to get some good loving. If you're not already, you about to get some good loving for from an emperor hierophant. You about to get some good loving from a boss. You about to get some good loving from a from somebody that's your divine counterpart. My aquas that resonate with this message, you a divine feminine. You're a high priestess. You're an earth angel. You're a chosen one. We already established that. But I'm telling you, your mate is just as... 
you might have a little bit more power than them all right but your mate is powerful too this person is a divine masculine this person is a divine counterpart this is somebody that you're going to have a spiritual union with this is somebody that you have a contract with in the ethers this person coming towards you you guys have a brand new passionate beginning with this person some of y'all may even have a baby by this person if you in childbearing age because i'm hearing that there's a spirit baby that needs to be created by the two of you but whoever this person is that teamed up with these low vibrational women to attack you or cause drama for you everybody getting karma everybody watching you get your justice that you deserve this shit is over this cycle's closed out literally it's mad funny how this shit came out though with the five of wands and the world card i feel like the most high stopped somebody dead in their tracks like somebody here really thought that they was about to turn up on you the most high said skip, 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 skip. <laughs> like, <skip. laughs> most high said you throw it you throw it <laughs> and you thought wrong because this ain't that all right like damn aqua you powerful man i'm telling you aqua i would not mess with you i mean i don't bother people at all anyway but I'm just saying for the cross watches for Aquarius, I mean, you should really leave Aquarius alone, baby. You really should. Leave Aquarius alone. Like, literally, leave Aquarius alone. Trust me. For your safety, leave them alone. Um, Let's move on to my Pisces. Aquarius, you got the type of protection that'll make a whole building fall to the ground. No funny shit. It's almost given, like... Carrie vibes. Y'all remember that movie Carrie? Like when she get mad, glass start breaking, shit start catching on fire. Like that's the type of protection you have, but that's the type of power you have too. Aquarius, keep your temper. Because I'm telling you, like you can manifest some extreme shit for these people. And I don't think they realize it. Like Aquarius, if these people make you sad or angry enough, all you got to do is think something and God might actually let that shit happen. <laughs> I'm telling you Damn Aqua Alright let's move on to my Pisces What is this person's current feelings towards Pisces What is this person's current feelings towards my Pisces Father give me two more shuffles What is this person's current feelings towards Pisces Some of y'all dealt with somebody that was lying a lot Very sneaky yeah very sneaky very deceptive yep and you know the truth you know the, what i'm saying is the truth that they was a liar but the truth is is that you know that they're a liar as well you know that this person was sneaky you know that this person was a liar some of y'all could have caught this person in a lot of lies and this is why it's not working out we have the two of cups in reverse some of y'all feel like somebody just can't tell the truth you feel like you caught this person in multiple lies. Yeah, you're done. Yo, it's over. Somebody here either feel like you can't tell the truth, Pisces, or you feel this way about this person. But either way, this shit is over. With the two of cups in a reverse and the four of wands in reverse, it's over. Too many lies. Too many lies. Too much deception. Too much sneakiness. Too much betrayal. Some of y'all could have been dealing with a Gemini. Too much back and forth, too. It's like, yo, I'm not happy. You not happy we break up every week like what are we doing like this is so unhealthy like people go through problems no marriage no relationship is perfect nobody is perfect right but a lot of y'all are starting to realize like this is very toxic this is very unhealthy like the amount of times that y'all make up and break up it's just it's too much at this point <sighs> somebody here up in their head though Somebody here could somebody can't get their shit together even if they like depending on it. And I'm not even trying to be funny. Like this person couldn't get their shit together even if they life depended on it. <laughs> somebody here. Somebody here can't just they just have a hard time doing right. They do. Somebody here may really have um an issue with lying, like for real. Like it may be like a mental thing, like Somebody here could be a pathological liar. But I'm telling you, somebody here just, it's like they can't do good. They can't do right if it's safe. If they if it was going to say they like, they couldn't do right. Um, <laughs> What's the um, two of cups in the reverse? I also feel like there's no more sex between you two. No more passion here. 
somebody here could have got sick. Somebody here could have had a, a pregnancy scare or an STD scare. Somebody here could have actually got tested positive for an STD. I'm sorry to hear that, y'all. Somebody here heartbroken about this shit. Some of y'all was dealing with a fellow water sign. I, I feel like there's a lot of conflict here, too. With this Five of Swords energy here. And this Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Seven of Pentacles reverse. King of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict. <sighs> Clarify this Five of Swords here. Yeah, Ace of Wands in the reverse. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody here, the star reverse, yeah. Somebody here having a, oh, that's everything I'm saying is the truth, though. There go that Ace of Swords that came back out. We saw it when I first cut the deck. But I'm telling you, somebody here got sick or somebody here contracted something. Somebody here could have gave somebody something or caught something. Yeah. Queen of Cups in the reverse. Also feel like somebody here could have lost the baby. My condolences. Somebody here could have had a miscarriage. Somebody here could have even just decided to not go through with their pregnancy, right? Um, seeing a lot of diff different things here. Um, I'm also seeing here that um, there's going to be no communication between you and this person. Somebody here is going to start avoiding someone. Someone here is going to block someone or just start ignoring them. Somebody here feels like somebody brought a lot of problems into their life. It's like, yo, my life may have not been great. I may have not been doing everything I wanted to do. I may have not had the best life, but my life was much better before I met you. <laughs> like, that's how somebody feel. Um, Pisces, you could be feeling this way towards this person, but somebody here feel like somebody ruined their life. Like, they came in and turned their world upside down. Yeah, we have the Ace of Cups in the reverse and the Moon reverse. There you are, Pisces. I feel like you just finding out a lot of truths about this person. And you know that you can't build a happy home with this person. Some of you feel like you could never have a, a true, solid, happy foundation with this person. So some of y'all are trying to weigh out your options and see what else is out there. You could be open to dating new people or seeing new people. But a lot of y'all are open to the idea of possibly connecting with someone else because you just know for a fact that this ain't the one. Yeah, y'all know that this ain't the one. I also feel like this person had somebody connected to them that could have been doing spell work on y'all. But I'm seeing here that you protected from it though, which is good. Whew, ciao, damn, okay. Everybody message was like, wow. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like the only person who actually really, 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 really happy. <laughs> what sign had a really, really nice happy message? I forgot. Capricorn had a good message, I think. Yeah, Capricorn and... Um, yeah, Capricorn. <laughs> like, Capricorn, the only one that's going to have a successful reconciliation, for real. Everybody else is like, yo, F you, I'm done, I'm tired, I'm moving on. Which is not a bad thing, though. Like, a lot of y'all are just healing, y'all know y'all worth, y'all closing out cycles. But Capricorn, you will have a successful reconciliation, those of you that resonated with that message. But yeah, you have one of the best messages um, tonight. Because I feel like everybody else is just, like, fed up. But yeah, y'all. Um... Hope you enjoyed these messages. Hope they gave you some clarity. Thank you so much for tapping in and listening to these messages. Give me a thumbs up if it resonated with you. Give me a thumbs up if you would like to support the channel and help my channel grow. Um, the thumbs up really do help my channel grow. Make sure to turn on that notification bell and subscribe. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night and I will talk to you guys again soon. Have a good one. Peace.